Good afternoon. For those who are new, I'm Dr. Theron Sherman. Today, class, you have the great fortune to be briefed on one of the most important thaumiel objects in Foundation custody, SCP-1131-J. There isn't any objectionable material in this document, so let's begin. Item number SCP-1131, Object Class, Thaumiel. Special Containment Procedures. All members of the O5 Council, the Ethics Committee, and the Site Director Executive Council of the Whole are to utilize SCP-1131 at all times on a 24-7 basis. Description SCP-1131 refers to a method utilized by the Unusual Incidents Unit used to counter the effects of cognitohazardous entities. SCP-1131 operates in an autonomous function when the subject using the method has encountered a cognitohazardous entity. Footnote, possible usage against memetic and antimemetic objects is undergoing experimentation. The mind, when affected by a cognitohazardous entity, will undergo a series of chemical changes heavily varying based upon the goal and power of said entity. These chemical changes are the main source of the properties shown on the affected subject, i.e. loss of motor function, memory alteration, and, quote, mind control. These chemical changes can be completely counteracted via any amount of the element tin, symbol SN, atomic number 50, but only if the tin is covering the majority of the top of the skull. This is commonly achieved via hand-shaped tin foil wrapped around the head in the fashion similar to a hat. This method is SCP-1131. SCP-1131 works due to the fact that the cognitohazardous properties, auras, and effects that an entity may give out cannot travel through closed tinfoil under any circumstances, with the exception of very few entities. Research is ongoing. Addendum. The following is a collection of test logs of SCP-1131. Researcher Roy G. Carroll is the overseer for all tests involving SCP-1131. Oh, wait, I might have a picture. One second. Here we are, a UIU special agent on the left and a Foundation researcher on the right, demonstrating the proper use of SCP-1131. Alright, here's the test log. Object, SCP-035. Procedure, a D-Class Personnel, D-1131-1, is to be introduced to SCP-035's containment chamber. The subject is then to be questioned as to the effects they are feeling. Results. D-1131-1 felt no compulsion to don SCP-035. During the test, SCP-035's smile altered into a frown. Following the conclusion of the test, SCP-035 has been extremely uncooperative and pouty because it, quote, got defeated by a fucking tinfoil hat. Attempts to make SCP-035 more cooperative during testing is ongoing. Object, SCP-3213. Procedure. SCP-1131 is to be used on a southern elephant seal. SCP-3213 is then to be introduced into the seal's direct line of sight. Results. SCP-3213 had no effect on the seal. Following introduction to the seal in a controlled testing chamber, SCP-3213 burst out into tears and said the interaction was, quote, the best moment of his life because he was, quote, finally able to hug a seal. Addendum. SCP-3213 is currently scheduled to go on a date with the elephant seal it has since named Darla. I'm not even going to ask. Object, SCP-055. Procedure, a Foundation researcher using SCP-1131 is to be exposed to SCP-055 to see if it has any effect against the object's antimimetic properties. Results, see transcript below. Begin log. Holy shit. What do you see? Roy, I see it. What do you see, Dr. Condon? I see it. 055. Well, shit. What is SCP-055? Uh, wait, what? We have an 055. It's right in front of me. We don't have an 055. What do you see, anyway? Don't tell him. It's... Don't do it. It's... It's incredible. What is the object you see? It's a tinfoil hat. With a mouth. Why'd you have to ruin the fun? Thank you for listening. Site42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you. Please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure. Contain. Protect.